हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ग्रामा क्लास टूडेज टॉपिक इज रेग्यूलर एंड इ रेग्यूलर वर्ब्स बट फर्स्ट लेट्स लर्न द इन्फ्लेक्शन ऑफ वर्ब्स वेल एज यू नो अ वर्ब इज ए वर्ड दैट डिनोट्स एन एक्शन ओ अ स्टेट ऑफ बींग फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्ले रन थिंक फील एट्सेट्रा एक्शन वर्ब्स वाइल बी सीम रिमेन आ स्टेट वर्ब्स we also know that every verb has a base or root form that denotes its meaning but when we change the base form of a verb for certain grammatical purposes like tense mood or voice it's called the inflection or conjugation of the verb for example the inflections of verb to go are went in simple past tense gone past participle going present participle and goes in third person singular form in this way we see that verbs inflect or change their base form in different ways for different grammatical purposes now according to their patterns of inflection verbs are classified as regular and irregular verbs so then what are regular verbs in english grammar well if the base form of a verb is inflected or changed by adding d o e d to its end to make its simple past and past participle forms it is called a regular verb so we understand that a regular verb follows a regular or standard pattern of inflection what is this regular or standard pattern of inflection well it's the addition of d o e d to the base form to make its simple past and past participle forms for example the verb smile is inflected by adding d to its base form so smile becomes smiled and smiled in past and past participle forms respectively and then the verbs play and wash are inflected by adding e d to their base forms to make their simple past and past participle forms so regular verbs have the same inflection in their simple past and past participle forms however most verbs in english do not follow any regular standard or predictable inflection pattern i mean most verbs do not follow the regular d o e d pattern of inflection such verbs are inflected in different ways for their simple past and past participle forms that's why these verbs are known as irregular verbs in english grammar for example the verb run inflects as ran in simple past tense with a change of vowel from u to a but it remains the same in past participle form the verb drive becomes drove in simple past tense with a change of vowel and driven in past participle form smell is inflected as smelt in both simple past and past participle forms but the verb put does not undergo any change or inflection either in past or past participle form in this way we see that these four verbs do not follow any standard or regular inflection pattern hence these are examples of irregular verbs there are three types of irregular verbs in english grammar let's check them out one by one First there are irregular verbs whose base form past form and past participle form are all different For example the verb write becomes wrote in simple past tense and written in past participle form Fall inflects as fail in simple past tense and fallen in past participle form The verb eat is inflected as ate in simple past tense and eaten in past participle form so these three type 1 irregular verbs are different in their base form past form and past participle form we also come across some irregular verbs whose any two of these three forms are the same for example the verb find inflects as found both in simple past tense and in past participle form the base form and the past participle form of verb become are the same 
but in simple past tense it inflects as became and then the verb catch is inflected as caught both in simple past tense and in past participle form so we learn that in the case of these type 2 irregular verbs any two of these three forms are the same and then the third type of irregular verbs are those that do not inflect in simple past tense or past participle form i mean the past form and the past participle form of these irregular verbs are the same as their base form take for example the verb cut remains cut both in simple past tense and in past participle form without any inflection some other irregular verbs like hit and shut also do not inflect in their simple past tense and in their past participle form late bait hurt spread split are some examples of this type of irregular verbs finally note that verb to be and verb to have are also irregular verbs verb to be in particular is a highly irregular verb am o r in present tense was o w a in past tense and been in past participle form verb to have inflects as had both in simple past tense and in past participle form that's the end of today's class hopefully you liked this video please like comment share and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click the notification bell for more such useful grammar videos thanks for watching